Welcome to today's video, where I would like to share with you a new potential use case for chat GPT in project management. Now, one of the best uses for chat GPT that I've been able to discover thus far is using it to automate some of your kind of recurring tasks or some of those kind of monotonous tasks that you have to kind of do on a daily or weekly basis. So be sure to keep watching because I'm gonna be showing you some prompts that could save you a lot of time. But before I delve into the video, I will just quickly mention that I am using uh, the GPT-4 model for everything that follows in this video. Now consider that that model is slightly superior to the legacy 3.5 model, and it's only currently available to those on the paid plan. So if you're gonna be using this and you're on the free plan or you intend on using the 3.5 legacy model, you may get slightly different output. It, it, hopefully it will still be okay, but I just want to mention that to, to, to preface it just in case you get something different. Of course, you can always upgrade to GPT-4. Um, I've found use case in doing that, uh, and it may be worthwhile if you're kind of wanting to use a tool long-term, but that's beyond the point. That, that's not what I'm here to talk about here today. Instead, I want to share with you how you can use ChatGPT to create effective meeting agendas. And what I found over the last week or so is that if you prime the tool, you tend to get better output. So what you can do here is you can say something like, I, aim, I am a project manager working on a technology upgrade project. Now, of course, this bit here, you can adapt to suit the particular type of project you're working on, or you could even put something like your industry. So I am a project manager working in the finance industry. You could put that instead. So start with this, and then you can say something like, um, I will provide you with future prompts to I will provide you with future prompts to create a meeting agenda. Do you understand? So make sure you put this at the end, the do you understand, because if you don't, what could happen is it could just start creating your meter, meeting agenda. We don't want to do that just yet. We just want, we want the tool to prime itself. And that's what the do you understand is all about. And if it's understood you correctly, it will say something like, I understand. I'm ready to assist you with creating a meeting agenda for your technology upgrade project. Perfect, so please provide me necessary details. So here we go. What I like about this is it's already given us some pointers. So meeting topics, attendees, meeting objectives, and any other information you'd like to be included in the agenda. So that's really, really cool because it's already sparked some ideas for me if I hadn't thought of these before. So now, here's the first prompt that we're gonna be using. Create a formatted, meeting agenda template. So very, very basic, uh, very, very high level to begin with, and we're gonna refine this further. But here, this kind of is a key kind of component to the prompt that we're using right now, formatted. And that's because we want this, we want to be able to copy this directly into Microsoft Outlook or maybe another um, kind of a meeting platform that you're using. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this, and we're gonna see what it creates. So sure, here is a simple yet professional formatted meeting agenda template that you can use. And as you can see here, it's put it in this CSS, which is quite interesting. Um, and you can copy the code. So it's actually this is actually coded, which is really, really interesting. But beyond just that, let's actually have a look at what's included. So it's, it's given us all these kind of areas that we can update. Now, feel free to replace the placeholders with the appropriate content based on your project and meeting requirements. So that's really, really cool. But what I'm gonna say now is um, recreate, because I actually wasn't expecting CSS there. I've not seen that before, that's quite interesting. That may be useful depending on your application, but recreate the agenda as text value values only. So what I'm trying to show you here is you don't just have to take the first thing it gives you. It's, it's trying to predict um, what you're looking for. And obviously, it's for some reason, it's, it's thought CSS is what we need. We don't. So I've, I've simply said something to try and adapt it further. So recreate the agenda as text values only. So it's done that. And let's just have a look at what it's provided. So really, really cool. Um, but it's still not quite right. So um, recreate the above agenda with bolded formatting and sections. 
again, let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. So here we go. This is what we were looking for. So this is much better because it's, as you can see, it's, it's given it that formatting that we probably need. So this could be the subject of the agenda. And then here's, well, you might not want to include this. This is usually what's in the, uh, the Outlook kind of heading, which just sets the meeting. But here, this is where it can get really interesting. So review and approval minutes from previous meeting, obviously very, very important. Old business topics, new business, reports, open discussion, adjournment. So really, really interesting. I quite like what it's done here. Um, it's it's given us different areas to explore. You don't have to use all of this and you can copy and paste this directly into um, your, your, your Outlook meeting invite. Or as I said, depending on the tool, it might not be Outlook, it could be something else, but you could do that. Um, and it's also given us some tips to apply the formatting, which is quite interesting as well. So now, what we can do is I'm actually just going to let's you know what let's start this again without the primer because I was trying to show you the primer because that can be effective for other ways of using chat GPT depending on what you want to create but might not be as uh, useful in this context so I'm, I'm, I'm willing to admit that this might not be useful in every context so do bear with me create a formatted meeting agenda template let's just do it from the outset and let's see what happens because I suspect that this might be quite this might be um, better from from the from the start so we've just got to wait for it to to populate it seems to be a little bit stuck at the moment i assume that it's got a lot of users so do do bear that in mind when you're kind of working with the tool so yeah this is what i was looking for this is what i've seen in the past so this is much better so let's just wait for this to populate but here this is this is going to be more useful from the outset and I like the fact that it's included in a meeting chair, but yeah, this is obviously a heading and that's what I quite like. So if you put this into uh, an invite, it's gonna be much uh, more visually appealing and, and you can kind of review it, 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 or when you read it, it's kind of much uh, easier on the eye, if you like, and easy to scroll and, and kind of get to where you need. But again, it's using all of the same items. So I'll let this finish generating. And then I'm gonna show you another prompt that you can use to get a meeting agenda that might be a little bit more um, might be a little bit more kind of relevant from the outset. So again, you could copy and paste this and use it right away, exclude certain sections. So as an example, approval of minutes. Uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't include that. Call to order. So, you know, that's who's going to talk and when. Um, agenda items, presenter discussion points. Yeah, I like that. That's good. So yeah, it's all, it's all really useful. I'd probably copy and paste this in. But let's go for another one. So I'm going to do this in a new chat because the priming didn't really work and I don't want to build off that last prompt. So here we go. This one's quite interesting. Create a formatted meeting agenda template for a technology project. Project. So that's why we're putting that in then in this one. Um, that will discuss client installations, the global political risk landscape of obviously been quite um open there i don't want to be any specific but that's a potential risk that could be imp impacting this project so yeah adding in some de some detail essentially we're going to see how the tool uses that to refine the agenda further and then we'll put one other one so just client installations the global landscape and uh, future budget cuts let's put that in there um we're also going to say um, add, uh, include the meeting date, include the for, uh, right, sorry, include, include the following information in the previous meeting, um, in the pre minutes section. Um, we discussed and approved of the resource allocation requirement. So what I'm trying to show you here, right, is these are the new topics that we're going to be discussing in today's meeting. So you could do that and build that into the prompt to begin with, because it, it may save you time further down the line. And here I want to add some information about what we discussed in the previous meeting. And let's just see what ChatGPT does. Does it kind of include it for us? So here we go. It's already updated the, the title. Great. There you go. Here we go. So approval of the previous meeting minutes. 
discussion and approval of the resource allocation requirement. Agenda items, here we go. Client installations, global political risk landscape, future budget cuts. So this is, this is really, really good. I really like this second, this second um, agenda because it's, because it's, it's, as I say, it's more automated. It's kind of, these would all be discussed against each one and it just refines it further. This is less work to do in Outlook and that's what is, ChatGPT is very, very useful for. So maybe consider adding in what you, you, you intend to discuss. Um, you know, the, the, first, the first prompt I did, maybe that's your kind of base template that you kind of refine for each and every meeting you have. You could use that kind of on any type of meeting. But if you really wanna get, if you really wanna save time, think about your agenda, think about what you previously discussed, what you're going to be discussed, and, and add it into the prompt like this. And that way it's gonna kind of pre-populate and this is where you're gonna save all your time. So I hope this video is useful. If it was, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue recording videos like this. And do consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. If you head over to my channel, you should find that there's lots of other videos, not just on ChatGPT and using it in project management, but also on project management training in general, whether it's on me methodology, processes, uh, or different artifacts, building them, understanding them, etc. So with all that said, I hope you have an excellent day.